Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux, and today I'm going to cover a bit of the theming. It's now going to be another short clip video clip, uh, the second one that I'm making, and this one's basically just going to go over some of the basic theming options of uh, Makulu Aero Edition. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> basically it comes with quite a bit of uh, well. I wouldn't say massive variety of themes, but there's 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 quite a few that will allow you to sort of play and skin and you know theme Makulu the way you want it. So let's start off with what is set as default. By default, you've got the arrow borders. Okay, you've got the sort of bluish Windows Vista icon set. You've got the Windows 10 control set. You've got the Windows pointer, which really hasn't changed in any of the editions. And you've got the Aero desktop theme, okay, the shell theme. Okay, so with the Aero, if you want to keep the Aero look, you've got a bunch of borders that you can choose from. You've got three, really. You've got the default one, which is, we've set as Aero. It's the sort of a gray, cloudy look. Then you've got the Aero blue, which is the sort of a blue look. Okay, it's got like a nice little light blue shiny look and then you've got the white borders okay so that's the white arrow borders okay so if you want to keep this look but you want to change the color to blue or white easy just click and it's done okay by default it's the gray it's the gray borders okay but let's say that you prefer for example Windows XP you want to run you like the XP look and that's what you want okay then it's pretty easy you go to window borders and you choose XP, okay, there you go, Windows XP borders. You go to the icon set, you choose the Windows XP icons. You go to control set, you choose the Windows XP um, control set. There's actually two, two looks to it, two sort of variations, okay. Um, <clears throat> and you go to the shell theme and you choose Windows XP there. And as you can see now, you've got a very sort of a, Windows XP look here. So yeah, you've got a pretty much a very Windows XP look here. Look and feel of Windows XP. It's, you know, it's quite dated Windows XP, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's not an exact match, but it's close enough for anybody coming from Windows XP to have his favorite um, look and feel. Okay, so <clears throat> that's Windows XP. Setting it as Windows XP. If you're coming from a very old system, or you're putting this on for your grandfather or your father or somebody who, you know, used the old sort of Windows 95 or older Windows Classic look, you can set your Classic look. You go to Borders, set it to the Classic Borders. You can set the Classic icons. You can set the, uh, uh, the there's two variations of the XP theme, uh, control theme. The one's the older kind of look, the other one's the slightly newer newer look so you set it to that older one and you go to desktop and you set the classic look and if you look now you will see that you have this very old classic look and feel to Makulu with the old icons the old panels the old the very old look okay if you're more into the kind of Windows Vista kind of uh, vibe you know you go to your you go to your uh, shell theme you set it to Windows Vista Okay, you go to controls, and you know <clears throat> the controls for Windows Vista and Windows 8, I think it was, were very much similar. You know, was it Windows 7? Sorry, Windows 7, Windows Vista were very much similar. So you could set the Windows 7 controls there. The icons you can choose, obviously, the Windows Vista icons or even the Windows 7 icons because they didn't really change much between Windows 7 and Vista. The borders, you can go to Windows Vista and set it as the black, the orange, the white. Uh, there's, there's variations of, of different borders you can set. They're all Windows Vista borders, okay? So let's go to the black ones. And as you can see, you've got a very kind of Windows Vista look and feel to the operating system now. Even the menu has a kind of a Windows Vista vibe to it, okay? So, <clears throat> you want to go and set Windows 8, for example, okay, or Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, sorry. You can go and set the Windows borders to Windows 8. There's a whole bunch of Windows 8 borders here, all different colors. 
uh, all variations of Windows 8. Okay, so you set the Windows 8 borders, you set the Windows 8 icons, you set the Windows 8 controls, you set the Windows, the Metro, the Metro desktop shell theme, which is the Windows 8 shell theme. And as you can see now, you've got pretty much a very Windows 8 look here. You know, so uh, very easy. You've got the Windows 8 icon set as well. Sorry, I was just doing some work on Cody earlier. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, anyway, so you've got a very kind of Windows 8 look here now, you know. Uh, and, of course, you can mess with the borders to sort of... Um, where's the Windows 8 borders? You can... Uh, literally select something whatever you want you know there's quite a ver variation of windows 8 borders here okay so easily you can switch you know you want windows 10 you can go and set the windows 10 borders you can set the windows 10 icons you can set the windows 10 control theme and you can set the windows 10 shell theme okay so there you go windows 10 windows 10 windows 10 so now you'll have the very kind of Windows 10 look and feel. You know, so you can literally seam the system to almost any kind of Windows lookalike version that you want. You know, from from uh, the old classic right through XP, Vista, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, uh, as well as XP. So that's really a lot of power with a with a theming system um, you know and then you've also got these couple of other themes in between that I've added you know that the Kenshu Kenshu theme which is quite a nice looking theme you know uh, let me just move this out of the way um, you've got the Ken Kenshu theme which is quite a nice quite a nice looking theme as well very gray and you have the Kalt where's the Kalt the count, there we go. The count, which is also a much darker gray. Very, very cool theme as well. Um, you also have the actual dark theme, which is sort of a like a, a almost a semi-transparent black kind of look. You know, and uh, you have the default cinnamon one. I left that in there. Uh, I didn't really want to delete it. I didn't see the point. It is quite a nice theme as well. Then you've got the light gray theme, you know, which is also quite a quite a nice little theme so I've, I've included a couple of extra shell themes and the reason for that really is that sometimes I've also included a very blue theme sometimes the guys tend to like a Vista icon set and Vista borders and Vista this or XP this but they don't quite like the shell themes you know they want maybe a different look and the, 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 the dark the dark the gray the Kench, Kench show and the count they, they actually fit with quite a few of these themes, you know, these uh, border themes, and uh, they're very neutral, so they kind of, you, you can kind of mix and match them with almost anything, you know, so I thought, well, that, that's quite a nice little advantage there, so I kind of put them into, but anyway, by default, this is the look that you get, the cloudy borders, Windows 7 kind of era borders, the Windows Vista kind of uh, um, icon set, I thought it was a beautiful icon set. The Windows 10 control theme, the Windows mouse pointer, and of course the Aero, the Aero uh, shell theme. Now, going on to mouse pointers, okay? The mouse pointers, um, I've included quite a few here, uh, not too many. By default, the, the Windows kind of look alike mouse pointer is by default there. Then you get your Oxy Black, which is a sort of a, a very smooth looking black. Then you get the oxy neon ones, which is kind of like all different neon colors: orange, pink, purple, red, yellow. Okay, and then you get your pixel fun pointers, which is kind of like a. If you actually look at, look at the icon change, it's it's kind of like the arrow, but minus the little back tail. You know, it's just got the little. It's quite a nice little pointer. I very much like it. I almost set this as default, you know, but since this is a kind of a, almost like a Windows lookalike, I kept the, you know, the normal standard Windows pointer. Then you get the comics, the comics pointers, and they really for guys that 
find the mouse pointer too small, you know, they want a much bigger pointer, like double or triple the size kind of thing. Um, and you get them in different, as you can see, it's a much bigger pointer. You get them in variations as well. You get the black, you get the blue, you know, and you get the green, the orange, the red, the white. Um, and then you also get the Numix cursor, which I thought was also a very pretty cursor. The Numix cursor, you know. So you've got quite a few theming options right at your fingertips. You know, you can literally skin it as you want. I mean, you can go for the Windows XP look you know, quite easily, just a few clicks and you've got the Windows XP look. Um, I mean, that's it. One, two, three, four, four clicks and you've got the Windows XP look. You know, Vista, Vista look easily. Um, and there you go, got the Windows Vista look, the Aero look. The Windows 8 look. Uh, Windows 8 and Metro. There we go. Windows 8 look with the uh, Windows 8 icons. You got the Windows 10 look. You know, Windows 10, Windows 10, and Windows 10. See how nice that looks. That's the Windows 10, and you can change to the uh, dark Windows 10 theme as well. You don't have to use the light Windows 10 theme. Same with the borders. You can go to the dark Windows 10 borders. Okay, and of course you've got the classic, the Windows classic look, with the classic icons. Um, with the, where's the classic? The classic look, completely classic, as you can see there. So really, you can theme this. To virtually any version of almost Windows that you want, uh, I think it's really brilliant, very very awesome. The fact that users can kind of set this to whatever they feel comfortable with. Um, so yeah, lots of theming options out of the box. You know, not not overly bloated, just just enough, just perfect for you to kind of set the environment that you want. Uh, I mean, if you want any more themes, it's, it's really not hard to add any themes, your favorite themes that you want. Uh, if you're not a person that likes the Windows look at all, hell, install your own theme, nothing stops you. A um, lot of Cinnamon users have their own themes that they prefer. It's so easy, you go online, download a theme, and that's it. Install it and, and switch. But uh, the guys, the, out of the box, this is what you get. A whole bunch of theming options, just, just perfect allowing you to skin uh, the look and feel that you want. So yeah, that's a little video today just showing off the theming, the theming end of, of Makulu Aero Edition. Very nice, very beautiful, and so easy, so easy to switch a theme. Hell, you can mix and match. You can set the look of one, one, one Windows while uh, incorporating features of the other. I mean, by default, as you see here, you've got the Aero borders, the Vista icons, the Windows 10 controls, and then you've got the Aero shell theme. I mean, by default, you already have quite a few different, you know, kind of aspect, a kind of few different versions rolled into one to get this kind of look, you know. So nothing stops you from experimenting with these combinations. You know, you've got hundreds of different combinations that you can actually literally set with all the Windows borders and icons and control sets. And that's it for me for today. I'll chat to you guys again.